It had been since 1993 that the United States had won a Ryder Cup match on European soil. The team that traveled to Wales to change that bit of recent history was composed of a mixture of veterans and rookies that included a couple of notable captain's picks. Young Ricky Fowler would be playing in his first Ryder Cup without a PGA Tour win on his resume. And Tiger Woods, for the first time in his long international match play career, did not qualify on points and had to be selected by Corey Pavin as a captain's pick to be on the squad. On the European side, Captain Colin Montgomery also had his fair share of veteran Ryder Cup stalwarts that notably did not include Sergio Garcia. For the first time in five Ryder Cups, the Spaniard would not be playing, but would be on hand as an assistant captain. Monty's team included six rookies, most notably the Italian Molinari brothers, who were the first brother combination to be on the same Ryder Cup team. And Rory McIlroy, the young phenom from Northern Ireland, who would be playing on no doubt the first of many European Cup teams. The two teams locked up at Celtic Manor in the Welsh countryside. The first time this part of the United Kingdom had hosted the competition. And on a dreary Friday morning, the passion and enthusiasm of the European partisans that circled the first tee could not be dampened by the rain. Unfortunately, it did not take long for the relentless downpour to make the 2010 course unplayable and the first of two major weather delays set in that would force an unprecedented alteration in the match schedule. Friday would end with the four ball matches incomplete and the format would be amended Friday night to include the completion of the first session on Saturday morning. When play resumed on a soggy but sunny Celtic manor, the Americans evened up the competition as the pairing of Tiger Woods and Steve Stricker outlasted the European partnership of Ross Fisher and Ian Poulter to post the first full point for the U.S. That was followed by the fiery, long-hitting rookie pairing of Bubba Watson and Jeff Overton, who blitzed the team of Padraig Harrington and Luke Donald to the tune of a 3-2 and two victory, giving the Americans a 2.5 to 1.5 point lead in the first session. But there was hardly time to celebrate, as a session of six foursomes matches soon followed. The final Saturday foursomes match typified what a wild and competitive round this session was. With each team splitting the first five matches, gaining two and a half points each, the match pitting the Northern Irish team of McElroy and Graham McDowell versus the all Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket pairing of Matt Kuchar and Stuart Sink was pivotal. The turning point came at the 17th, where Sink hit a long putt to take a one-up lead, which would turn out to be the American margin of victory. The visitors had extended their lead to two points and the momentum was clearly on their side as the two teams quickly regrouped to play a split session of two foursomes and four four ball matches. But all the confidence Team USA had built over the first two days quickly evaporated in a flurry of European birdies as the third session began. Monty's men played with a sense of purpose and perhaps a little desperation as European flags went up on leaderboards all over the course and one home side roar was followed by another. As darkness fell upon Celtic Manor, the shell-shocked American team found themselves trailing in every single match when play was halted. Any hope of completing the Ryder Cup on Sunday was washed away by another morning deluge, meaning for the first time, a Ryder Cup would go into Monday. But the delay did nothing to cool down the Europeans and they pressed their advantage, winning point after point as the Americans could do nothing to slow them down. When the dust settled, the Europeans had won a remarkable five and a half points out of a possible six. And even the half match featured European heroics as Francesco Bolinari birdied the 18th to deny a full point to Sink and Kuchar. Entering the now Monday singles, Captain Pavin's team faced a three point deficit and something in the order of the 1999 miracle of Brookline would be required for the Americans to keep the cup. Monday's finish at the 2010 Ryder Cup proved to be as unforgettable as it would be unprecedented. The two teams staged an emotional seesaw battle as the Europeans fought to turn back the American comeback bid, an effort embodied by the grit and determination of Ricky Fowler. Three down with three to play to Eduardo Molinari, the young American rookie won 16, 17, and 18 to have his match and validate the faith Pavin showed in picking him for the team. Fowler's heroics kept the Americans' hopes alive, tied at 13 and a half apiece. For the first time since Kiowa at 1991, the Ryder Cup would be decided by the final match. The two anchor players were Hunter Mahan for Team USA and Europe's Graham McDowell. 
As the realization set in that their contest would be the one that determined the outcome of the matches, the U.S. Open champion rolled in the putt of his life. A 15-footer on the 16th for birdie to win the hole and go two up in the match with two to play. On 17, after coming up short of the green with his tee shot and needing a win, the immense pressure got to Mahan as he duffed his chip, leaving golf's biggest stage clear for McDowell. After one McDowell putt, the concession was made. Europe regained the Ryder Cup it had lost in Valhalla, and Colin Montgomery added another Ryder Cup victory, this time as a captain.